In this video, I'm going to walk through how to set up the IX and the DLEP1 for Ethernet IP communication. First, we're going to start with IX Navigator in order to assign an IP address to our IX sensor. I'm going to plug directly from the IX amplifier to my PC and then hit Network Connection. From the Network Adapter dropdown, I'm going to select my Ethernet connection in which I have a static IP set and I'm going to simply search for a sensor. So you'll see my IX showed up and the IP address is empty. So the IX does not come with a default IP address, but once I hit this connect button, it will prompt me to assign whatever IP address I want for my IX. In my case, I'm going to do 172.19.102.172 and hit connect. You'll notice I already have a program set up, which I programmed prior to resetting the network settings, just so I could show you how to set an IP address. And the next thing we need to do in the software is go to the advanced sensor settings. If you go to the device tab, you'll see communication unit DL settings. Under this data assignment, go ahead and hit change. So this is an important section to adjust if you want to send measurement values for your tools. So I just have a main unit amplifier. If you have both a main and expansion unit, on the same DL unit, go ahead and select main versus expansion. Mine's simply grayed out because I don't have an expansion unit connected. Next, under this output assignment, you need to tell the IX which tools you want to send measurement values for to the PLC. You can send up to 15 different measurement values, but in my program, I only have two tools, so I'm going to leave it as so and hit OK. Go ahead and hit OK, and it will temporarily cut connection to make this update. So now all changes on the IX software side have been adjusted. The next thing we need to do is set the IP address on the DLEP1. I'm going to open up the IP setting tool, which is the software used for setting the DLEP1. And as you can see, it already found my DLEP1 when I opened up. But if it, you need to rescan, go ahead and hit Scan Ethernet Devices. So now it has completed the scan, and you'll notice it found my PLC, which has an IP address already set, an IV sensor, an IV3 sensor, and my DLEP1, in which the IP address is not set. So I'm going to click on my DLEP1 and hit Set Up IP Address. And for this one, I'm going to set it to 172.19.102.171. And this selection right here, make sure this says start with fixed IP. So once I hit OK, now the DLEP1 will have that static IP address even after a power cycle. And you can see that is successfully set here. So at this point, I am done setting up the DLEP1. And so now I'm ready to open up the PLC software. I'm going to go ahead and create a new project. So I'm going to name this IX DLEP1 connection example and hit next and finish. The first thing we're going to do in the PLC software is 
right click on my ethernet and select new module. And I'm going to search for a generic ethernet module. Select it here and hit create. So I'm going to name my module DL underscore IX. The data format is going to be double integer. And the IP address is going to be the IP address of my DLEP1, since that is what is communicating with the PLC. So that's going to be 172.19.102.171. Next, I need to adjust my input assembly instance and size. So this is 100 with a size of 42. My output assembly instance is 101 with a size of two, and my configuration is one with a size of zero. So now that my generic ethernet module properties are set, I'm going to hit okay, and hit okay again. And now you can see I have my module over here. If I go to my controller tags, you can see it has created my input assembly and my output assembly tags. However, there are no descriptions currently. So I'm going to go to tools, import, tags, and logic comments. And I'm going to select where I have the DLIX double integer tags saved and hit import. So now you'll notice those descriptions automatically populated for both the input and output assembly. Next, I need to go online with my controller. So I'll go ahead and set the path. And go online. I'll download my program or my project. All right, and now if I expand my output assembly, you can see that data 0.0, .0 is my trigger request for the main unit. And if I go to my IX software, I'll put this into run mode. And you can see it is waiting for trigger. If I put these side by side, I'll go ahead and change my data 0, 0.0 to a 1. And you can see it took a picture over here. I have my two different measurement values that I enabled to send in the PLC earlier on. And so if I expand these, you'll see that measurement one, measurement value one is going to be my tool one, and measurement value two is my tool two. So if I go over, you'll notice that. My tool one is 5.12 millimeters, and my tool two is 10.31 millimeters. If I were to trigger again, you can see it updated slightly, and now I have 10.44 millimeters. So you can see I can properly trigger the IX from the PLC. Next, I will show you an example of how to change programs. So the first thing I'm going to do is Take that back to a zero. And let's say I want to go to program one, for example. I'm going to set this change program number bit zero to a one because my program changing is binary. And then I'm simply going to send this program change request for the main unit. And you'll see that I've now changed to program zero one, which is empty, not programmed. If I were to ch change this back to a zero and simply send this request again, so I'll turn it off and back on, 
Now I've gone back to my program 00, zero and I can send my trigger request. And you'll see it took a measurement. I hope this video helped explain how to set up the IX and the DLEP1 for Ethernet IP communication, but if you have any questions, please give our tech team a call at 888 Option 2 for tech support. Thanks and have a great day.